little video on um, heel position because I like to do tricks mainly but the heel position of the dog is important if you want to do something like rally obedience or if you want to do um, a trotting in canine freestyle. Um, you need a nice bit of heel position. I taught this to Archer from a young puppy. He's obviously done it quite a few years now so he should know where to go but I will show you how I did it for him originally. So basically we're going to lure the dog where we want them. So you'll have to excuse now that my head will go out of shot um, but hopefully you'll better see what the dog is doing. That's the important bit. So I'm using chicken for this and I'm going to lure Archer into where I want him. So I'm going to take him all the way around here and take him to there. And that's the exact position I want him in. So that's where I feed him. So we're going to put a word to that. I use the word close for my left side. So we're going to show you how to do that again. So we'll take him out and then we'll lure him back in. Line up together and we praise. Good boy. Now you don't need to ask them to sit at this stage. The sit's not important. The important bit is that they're in the right position. So we'll try that again. I've actually got a mixture of chicken and kibble because sometimes it's quite nice to make it a bit of a variety. But the chicken is definitely what he'd work for the most. So this time I'm going to put the word close in. Close. Yes, good boy. Well done. And so we'll attract him away by chucking a treat. That gets him out of position. So when he comes back in, we're going to ask him to go close. Yes, good boy. Now, a little tip. If the dog is putting his back end outwards, if you turn the head out, the back end will come in. So for instance, we're going to back him up here. Come. If I turn his head out, his bottom will move in. See the bottom coming in slightly? That way, we get a dog that is straight. Good boy. Good close. Lovely. So if the head turns in, the bottom will come out. We don't want that. So again, we're going to take him round. We're going to slightly turn the head out. Close. Yes, good boy. Good close. Brilliant. Now, once you've mastered that side, we'll repeat it on the other side. But do use a different word to make it simple for the dog. So I'm going to use the word side. Easy for me to remember. So again, we're going to take him out. We're going to lure him round and put the word side in. Good boy, good side. Now he's sat down automatically. I don't mind that at all, but we're not going to ask for it at this stage. And again, off we go. Hacha, side. Again, turn the head out. As you come in, the bottom will go slightly in. Let's try that again. Good boy, side. Good boy, he's trying to give me his paw. We don't want that yet. Good boy, good side. So we're gonna lose position again, grab some more treats, and we're gonna ask him to come back in. Archer, side. Good side, good boy, good side. So now we should have a dog that is understanding of the word side and close. So we take away the treats, empty hands, and we ask for the same thing, but we use the same hand signal. So, come. Close. You see my hand comes around and into position up here. Yes, good boy. He'll still get a treat for it, but he's not being lured anymore. He's following the hand signal. Again, empty hand. So we ask him to go side. Same hand signal. Yes, good side. Good boy. And we try that again with nothing in our hands. Come. Close. Yes, good boy. So, this time we start walking together. I'm going to have a treat ready, but I'm not going to be doing the luring. So here we go. Come. Close. Good. Close. Good boy. Close. Close. Yes, good. Good boy. Now we try the other side. Come. Side. Good. Side. Side. Yes, good boy. Again, your automatic sit, I don't mind, but I'm not necessarily going to ask for it. Here we go again. Come. Close. Yes, good boy. Lovely. Well done. And the 
go back almost arms to the side this time. Archer. Side. Good. Side. Side. Yes, good boy. You'll see he tries to adjust himself when he feels like he's maybe gone out of position. That's fine. As long as we praise him where we want him to be. So, just to recap, remember to do the luring to start with. So it's all about following the tree. Chasing around that tree. Good boy. And then once you've progressed on to having empty hands with no treats in them, don't forget the hand signal is still really, really important. I mean, we could even practice it sitting down like this. Good boy. The dog's understanding that they're getting the treat for being next to you, not for being out front. Side. Good boy. Side. Yes, good boy. Sit. Yes, well done. So heel work's really important just to have a nice, comfortable walk with your dog, let alone doing tricks and, and heel work to music and that sort of thing. Um, so that's something to work on, I don't know, two to five minutes a day. You don't have to do much. The important thing is the dog finishes the exercise and is still enjoying itself, still having fun. And obviously the treats you use depends on your dog. Um, Archer will work for most treats, but I tend to use chicken because it's quite gentle on their tummies. Um, I will use his own kibble as well as a variety um, but really it's just a case of making sure they're enjoying it and if they're enjoying it and you're enjoying it then working together you'll both learn together. Archer, come, kiss kiss. Yes, well done.